Then this week saw yet more evidence of terrible corruption in Bible translations that you and I read every day. This new culprit is the New American Standard Bible. Jennifer left a comment in last week's post that said this, quote, and a couple more a couple more verses in the NASB that caught the attention. Joshua 24:15. Quote, if it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves today whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served, which were beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Close quote. And Jennifer continues, that's the 1995 NASB. The newer translation inserts Euphrates in front of the river. That's even worse. Quote, continuing on, I don't like that they changed evil to disagreeable. Disagreeable sounds polite in comparison. Call it what it is. Another one that bugged me more is 1 Kings 19.12. And it says, after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a sound of a gentle blowing. A sound of a gentle blowing? No, a still small voice. That smacks of deliberate mistranslation. So frustrating and anger-inducing. Close quote. Now, from Jennifer, back to me. I looked up both verses, and the New American Standard Bible has deeply corrupted both verses. The word disagreeable is ra at least as the New American Standard, at first verse, the New American Standard Version calls it. And it literally means evil, not disagreeable, evil. You can see it for yourself at biblehub.com slash interlinear. For instance, the word Ra is the same word used in the name of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve did not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and disagreeableness. No, it was good and evil. The knowledge of. How is it possible for the translators of the New American Standard Bible to make such an awful corruption? How could they do that? Then I looked up Jennifer's reference to 1 Kings 19.12, the second verse that she referred to. And you can also look it up at BibleHub.com in the interlinear. When the New American Standard Bible says a sound of a gentle blowing, the Hebrew is kol dameme deka. There is no way that you can get the New American Standard Bible translation that they said that, that they got, if you have any integrity of all at all with those Hebrew words. Here are what the three Hebrew words mean. Kol, voice, dameme or demama, sorry, demama, meaning still or quiet, and daka, meaning thin or small, and in modern usage, it actually means minute, as in 60 seconds. There is no way that you can get a sound of a gentle blowing from those three words, especially if you claim to be doing a word-for-word -word translation of the Bible. I am outraged that a translator would do something like this. Why would a translator corrupt the precious words of God? And it seems like every translation of the Bible has corruptions like this. It's as if Bible publishers are hiring non-Christians to translate the Bible for them. And maybe that's what's happening. Maybe the problem is that these Bible translators aren't Christian. Thanks, Jennifer. This reinforces the need for everyone to understand that the Bible is not the translation that you are reading. The Bible is the original Hebrew and the original Greek. Not the KJV, not the NIV, not the NASB, ESV, ASV, or any of the other Bibles out there. And no, it's not the Septuagint either. That's a translation too. The fact that we have depended upon corrupt translators to tell us what God has told us is horrifying. Why have we tolerated such abomination? That's it for this shot cast. Again, hit like, click subscribe, and whack that little bell. 
And please share this video or the MP3 below. After you've done all that, leave a comment. I like seeing what you have to say about what was said here. Your input is welcome. Then help keep Omega Shock and the Shockcast alive. There's a link below that can help you do that. I am truly grateful for all of you who have helped this ministry continue. May God bless you for your generosity. Also, subscribe to The Shock Letter at theshockletter.com and read my books for free, When Jacob Returns and Ezekiel's Fire. You do not want to get caught by what is coming.